Mukesha Lanai Tony Dani Tuber Rose. We are Harris and Venice, your host for the evening. Hey Venice, what does Tuber Rose even mean? Well, Tuber Rose is basically the English name of the flower Sundal Malam, whose fragrance you can only smell at night. It is usually associated with the notorious Malaysian bloodlust monster, Pantiana. Really? I never knew that. Venice. Hmm. Venice. So does this mean our title for tonight, Tuberus, is hinting at a Pontiana story? Don't you know, this year, our MIT team has made a very bold move. They decided to stage a horror romance musical based on the Pontianat legend. A horror musical? Is that not impossible? Well, believe it. They decided to make their own adaptation of the horror legend, which focuses on themes of love and friendship in the Pontianat's previous life. So it's an origin story? That's right. And 1940s, so the costumes? Yeah. Um, the, um, our MI team, cast and crew have worked really hard the past few months for this one night performance. Oh, what an honor to be here. But what makes it even more special is that we get to share this magical experience with you. Before we get this show on the road, we'd like to thank our sponsors and event partners. Our event partners are Yoast, Cocoon, Arch Design, Tukdin, 99 Speed Mart, as well as Fastway Trading. We'd also like to thank our affiliates, our platinum sponsor, Sunway, <laughs> and our gold sponsor, Zico Law. Rules. Please remember to switch your phones to silent before we begin the show and please no flash photography. Fire exits are there, there, there and there. The toilets are outside on the right. Fair warning, this show uses bright flashing lights which may potentially trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy and smoke which may be harmful to asthma prone individuals. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for Indeed. Sit back and relax and enjoy act number one.
Who's that? Hello. What are you doing here? Come on. Let's get you out of here. Stay. Chris. I, I won't hurt you. You want this? Here. Take it. I'm Zion. And you are? Mariam. Mariam. Come on, let's get you out of here before a snake sees that one. You're, you're very pretty.
Listen, do these guys do that a lot? I mean, when you're not around? Yeah. Hmm. Listen, Zali, these guys, they're big, huh? Idiots. <laughs> Come on. Following her around, singing songs, her, not even in a good key. I mean, <laughs> there's no way a man should approach a woman, you know? Agree. Zali, Zali, what I meant to say was that, you know, you know, a real man, men such as myself, I would have gone and told her already, but you know how married I miss. She would say no to me before I finish the door. But with you it's different, you know, she listens to you. Now why don't you um find a good word for me, buddy? No. Hey, no, don't don't. Hey, you better take it out. Hey, it's not private commenting. You listen, Mona. Oh man, what a friend's one. Listen, I already helped you. The earrings, remember? Look, she's just not interested. It's time for you to go find another girl. There's plenty of other fish in the pond. Okay? Alright, alright. Hey boss, you're never. My boss, can you just shut up? Assalamu alaikum. So, what do you think? God, you've got it in your hair now. Why not? I think she looks beautiful. Asita, you always take her side. Face it, she loves me more. <laughs> Fun that you haven't seen the lawyer's gonna be here in a minute. Yeah, sure. Why do you look oh, horrible? I, I, let me come. No, I just. <laughs> Thank you. I've had a tiring and bizarre day. Oh, you know, I saw a blacksmith dangling from the tree in the laundry area today. There's some blacksmiths in this town. Well, there is one now. He's from the west coast. Why are you here? I don't know. Hey, listen, I want you to tell me if those village boys are bothering you, okay? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you mean those boys, you know, trying to sing outside? Yes, <laughs> and stop laughing. I'm the head of the family now, and I want you both safe. <laughs> Come on, is this a joke? Stay away from them. And that blacksmith too, whatever his name is. Daniel? Yeah, him. Zai, you're just overreacting. It's just for fun. You wouldn't do anything to her, Mariam. Exactly. <laughs> and if there's anyone you should be worried about, it's your friend, Marzani. What? There's nothing wrong with Marzani. He's just persistent and, and ambitious. <laughs> ambitious. That's one way to put it. Uh, let me tell you something. He's creepy, okay? <laughs> Buying me earrings and expecting me to wear them wherever I go. Who does he think he is? I think you're being a little too hard on him, Mary. Oh, okay. All boys are dangerous, but when it comes to Marzani, it's fine. Zani, you're so biased. I'm, I'm not, not biased, Maxita. Look. He's a nice guy. Listen to me, not you. Cut it out. Keep it together. The lawyer is here. Yes, stop it. Oh. Hello? Hello? Well, we've gone over the formalities, so I'll get straight to the point. Point. I'm going to these for each of you. A pair of songket or mansita. Salman has always appreciated you for taking care of Zali and Miriam all these years. You're one of the few people he trusted, and he's always considered you as family. Next, a complete set of jewelry for his beloved daughter, Miriam. Salman has supported you all these years and wanted nothing more than for you to be happy. And lastly, Zali. Salman left his house under your name months before he passed away. He always wanted you to take care of this family. He also wanted me to give you this. What? What is it? Some kind of casket, but I can't seem to open it. Did Bangman mention anything? <laughs> no, because Bangman couldn't open it either. What? This is a family early, passed from one chief to the next. So I just have to keep this and pass it on when the time comes? Strictly speaking, yes. Pangman said, should we need to open it, we would know how. Hmm. I'll take his word for it then. <coughs> You'll make a great leader. Pangman believed in you, and we believe in you. Well, I best get going. I have another house to visit. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for coming over. Yes, I will be back for the ceremony and the performance. <sighs> Village chief and prima donna. I'm going to be proud. Thank you.
You ready? Are you? Listen, listen. Long ago, when men knew not of borders and colonizers, when all they had were the seas and the stars, three travelers found the sacred diamond yeah, in the heart. They became the stars of the sacred planet. Yeah, come on, bring out the girls already. Yeah. Listen well, children, for those who know not of history are sure to repeat them. Yes, they found that this land and name in the sacred village sword of protecting diamond. For legend has it that whoever has the diamond will attain eternal power and immortality. Ooh. But one of the founders sought to keep the diamond all to herself. The wicked witch! Correct! Driven by greed, the wicked witch killed all the other founders and became master of the land and seas. She ruled viciously, no remorse to every other being. That's why people call her the wicked witch. She ruled for decades until one day a brave young man named Abdurrahman led the people against her. They called him the Great Defender. The people fought ferociously and in the final battle between Abdurrahman and the Wicked Witch, he sliced the sacred diamond in half. Boom! A spark of blinding white light for the two diamonds scatter and the Wicked Witch disappeared, nowhere to be seen again. After years and years of searching, Abdul Rahman finally found one half of the diamond, but its twin, ladies and gentlemen, remains lost until this very day. From that day onwards, the sacred village became free of sorcery, protected by Chief Abdul Rahman, then his son, and his son, and tonight, the mantle is finally passed on to our one and very only, Chief Zali. <laughs> Responsibility, but we trust that you will be as great as your father. To Zali! To Zali! And now it's time for Sacred Village's very own dance performance here.
recipes. <sighs> hey, look at you. I mean, seriously, look at you. Honey, if you didn't look like this, I would have been prima donna a long time ago. <laughs> Stop. Stop, darling. You did amazing. Now. Hey, Jessica. Do you mind if I borrow Marion for a minute? Right, right. 